Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18 beta and of course this update comes with a lot of new features and changes and a lot of iOS users have actually updated just to try these new features. But of course with betas there comes problems of course with the battery life as well always when updating to a new beta especially a big update like iOS 18 you will have issues with the battery life so in today's video I will show you guys a few tips and tricks that will help you fix the battery drain issues on your iPhone running iOS 18. Now the first thing you want to do if you have already updated to iOS 18 beta is make sure that you always have the latest beta installed in this case as far as today you should actually have the second beta of iOS 18 so right here make sure that you have your device updated to the last beta and then of course we have some new features that Apple has added to the new iOS 18 which I suggest you should turn off at least for now until we get some new betas and the battery life actually improves. First of all, head on under accessibility here and what you will find here are some new features that Apple has added with this update. Now, one of them, which I think is actually really, really cool, can be found here under touch. You go to touch and right here will find sound actions. Now, with sound actions, you will basically assign an action to a sound that you make. You make a sound like a clap or something like that and it will perform an action that you select from here but of course this will require CPU power and of course battery life as well another one right here that Apple has added with iOS 18 is music haptics if you really really need this you turn it on but but if you don't actually need to have this feature make sure that you have this turned off this will drain a ton of battery out of your iPhone you know that the haptic engine does consume a ton of battery so make sure you have this turned off Another one that you will also find here under the accessibility feature is eye tracking. Now this is pretty cool, you can try it out yourself, it basically allows you to completely control your iPhone simply by looking at it. Of course it works with the face ID here and the camera and it will just basically track your eyes and allow it to perform actions on your iPhone using your eyes. It's pretty cool but it does also consume a ton of battery. And then there is also the new feature, the ability to lock and hide apps. Now, if you want to lock apps, you just have to know that every time you open that app, it will require you to actually activate the face ID on your iPhone. That does also consume battery. So if you don't really need to lock as many apps, make sure that you only lock the ones that you actually need and don't just add locks to plenty of apps because every time you're opening those apps, you're also using battery to actually invoke the face ID on your iPhone. And then there are of course a few other things that you can do that will help you improve the battery life on your iOS 18 device. First of all, head on to your lock screen, make sure that you only use the widgets and the live activities that you actually need. If you just have a bunch of widgets here on the lock screen, especially some like maybe news or stocks that needs to be updated all the time, make sure you remove them because they will consume a ton of battery. The same goes for the home screen widgets as well. On the home screen, check what widgets you have, which ones are you using. If you have widgets that you don't actually use, make sure you remove them. Again, especially widgets that do need to be updated all the time. Those consume a ton of battery. So make sure you check the home screen here and just leave those that you actually need, at least for now while you're on these early stages of the beta of iOS 18. Make sure you remove a few things so that you get better battery life. The next thing I suggest you do is that you use dark mode as much as possible on your device. Now this has been proven to work, dark mode does work of course because everything that you see on the screen on an OLED display that it's black, it's basically pixels that are turned off on the screen. So it's not like a color, it's just pixels that are turned off. That will of course make the screen of your iPhone consume way less battery and make your battery last a bit longer. Now, one of the biggest issues when it comes to battery life are notifications. Now, with notifications on iOS 18, there's a complete mess with beta one. We had 
notifications but no sounds now i have sometimes sounds but no notification it's just a mess hopefully apple will fix that in the near future hopefully with the beta 3 but what i suggest you do is just go ahead head on to your notification settings and check here the apps that are sending you notifications make sure that you turn off as much as possible like there will be a ton of apps that you don't actually need notifications from make sure to turn those off and place a lot of apps on the schedule summary so you get all those notifications at a time or twice a day and not all the time getting notifications and waking up the screen of your iPhone that does of course have a huge impact on the battery life. Now the same goes of course for your privacy and security settings here and we're talking here especially for location services make sure you only use location services where you need them don't let a ton of apps use your location that is of course a huge privacy concern but it's also a thing that will just consume a ton of battery on your iphone so make sure you go to your to your apps choose never for apps that you don't need to have location from or maybe even turn off precise location for a ton of apps now we're moving here under the general settings and here we have airplay and airdrop these are things that you also should check here now what i suggest you do is turn off bringing devices together now that is a cool feature but you will probably use it very rarely and at the same time if you have it turned on it does also consume a ton of battery then we have here airplay and continuity now what i suggest you do here is go to automatic airplay and choose ask or never so it doesn't just actually connect automatically that's the thing that you should do to just make sure that your device doesn't consume a ton of battery then what i suggest you do is also go here under display and brightness and here you have a few things that you can turn off first of all rise to wake make sure that you have set auto lock here and the always on display it does actually save a ton of battery so if you just go ahead and turn it off completely that will save a ton of battery now according to, to apple the always on display will con consume like one percent of battery life in an hour so if you just multiply it by 24 it means that it's actually consuming a quarter of your battery during the day so it does consume a ton of battery and of course the old trick the background app refresh now this is something that does also consume battery so make sure you go to settings under general they will have background app refresh you will have a list of a ton of apps right here that you probably don't need to have them refreshing in the background what i suggest you do is take a close look at this list and just turn off the apps that you know you don't need to be refreshing and updating in the background so that's pretty much it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video these are a few tips and tricks that i suggest you just follow to make sure that you have the best battery life on your ios 18 device even though we're still early it's just beta 2 and you cannot expect to have great battery life you can still improve it by simply following these tips and tricks and always remember when a new beta comes out don't forget to update your device so that's it leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more ios 18 videos and i'll see you on the next one